Good afternoon and welcome to my channel. My name is Joyce and today I wanted to talk about this idea of freedom and that um, freedom is really found in our minds, right? I know that that can be a bit challenging for some people to maybe grapple with, um, but I think that's essentially why some people... Um, can be seen to have very little and yet be very very happy and content and other people who are seen to be very wealthy materially and yet seem to be bound or ill um or very unwell because unless you're first free in your mind right you do not have freedom whatever your circumstances might be and I think sometimes when you're free in your mind, it can actually liberate you to having everything that you need materially, physically and spiritually. Because again, freedom is not found in not being bound or not being confined in walls. Dare I say also that you can be physically in prison and yet free in your mind or find freedom within those walls. Let me explain. Um, one one such person actually is Malcolm X. I don't know how much you know about his story, but Malcolm X was a leader in the 1950s and 60s and very affluent. But his story to where he was is actually uh, filled with a lot of sadness and a lot of um, struggles, both physically and, and, and um, mentally. And also, you know, uh, I would dare say, uh, spiritually anyway so Malcolm X was born Malcolm Little and he went to uh, I think his dad died and he was quite young somewhere around six years old five or six years old and his mother was actually committed into a mental institute when she was I think when he was um, around 13 I don't know how old Malcolm X was he ends up going to school and um, during one of those what would you like to be when you grow up he told his teacher that he wanted to be a lawyer and his teacher said to him well actually that is an unrealistic dream for a black boy in I think he lived in Illinois at the time um, in America and he decided well if it's unrealistic then I might as well stop dreaming. And he ended up dropping out of school. And this is why I say a lot about who you surround yourself and the information you feed, because eventually it can really shape who you become and what you dream about. So Malcolm X ends up in uh, dropping out and in gangs, up to no good, um, and in prison eventually. But it's in those walls, right, where we call being confined, that he was able to read about uh, a man and a religion that set him free. Now, as you know, I'm not a religious person. So for me, um, I, you know, I don't really know much about what his belief system was. But I love reading biographies because they tell stories about what is possible for people. So he ends up, so he was sentenced for, I think, 8 to 12 years. So you can imagine being in prison having your freedom taken away and being confined in walls for 8 to 12 years. I'm not sure how many years he served. Um, but he ended up, during that time, freeing himself through what he read. And he actually became a writer in prison. Fast forward, he became one of the most influential people in America in the, in the 50s and 60s. The whole moral of the story is that freedom is not about you being in prison or out of prison. Is actually about you being free in your own mind. And there's a lot of teachers that teach us now about, first, you've got to be free in your mind. Because if you are not free in your mind, you will never be free physically. So that could include feeling whether you are capable of being wealthy or not, being educated or not, being married or not, being in a particular position or not, running your own business or not, being an entrepreneur or not. All of that is essentially freedom. And only your mind can free you from those chains. I hope that's been helpful. Have an incredible day and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Take good care.